So guys, isn't technology like all about computers, phones, and the web? Like, wait, cars aren't part of technology, right? Right? Uh, wrong, man. Guys, especially cars like Tesla, you know, out of all the car makers, I'm gonna be talking about Tesla right now. Because Tesla is the biggest tech kind of car thing you're ever gonna see on the road. Like, trust me, man, the amount of features it has. Like, for example, if you want, you can summon your car and, you know, bring it forward around a yard or so, you know, for your own conveniences. However, the whole thing is, you know, Tesla as a car maker, right, is amazing. Like, as you can already tell by what I just said about summon mode, it's somewhat like an RC car. And you can control it by the small device, like, such as your phone. So basically, as you all know, I'm G and I have to invite definitely not me. It's really not me into this video to talk about this. And, you know, this has to be the first time we've met. Like, totally, you know, literally we've never seen it before. Like, not even in the mirror, man. Like, <laughs> anyways, man, technology and cars, like, you know? Like, Tesla's a big thing. And, like, you know how it's a high-class vehicle. And, you know, it's definitely got a premium price. So, you know what you're paying for. And it feels pretty substantial, too. Right. right. I told you, man, it's literally the price of a Cadillac or Mercedes. But, you know, you get a lot more. Right, exactly. And, you know, you get a lot more. Like, for example, a higher investment. What do you mean by that? Like, you know, like, for example, you buy a Tesla, all right, and they hold some nice, decent price for the value, I suppose, for the both seller and the buyer. Mm -hmm. Let's just say all a battery that's powering, uh, you know, powering the whole vehicle, and it's just a battery, like I just said, so there's not going to be any type of transmission issues, nothing like accelerator, decelerator, no type of issues like that, you know what I mean? You know, it's just like, everything is just, you know, like, universal in the car. The battery is controlling that. Anything wrong with it? Oh, swap out the battery. Anything else? Restore the OS. Anything else? Just, you know, update it. That's pretty much it. Is that really simple? Like, I mean, if you think about it, yes, man. Because there isn't any maintenance. It's all just charging. Like, no oil changes. No power fluids. It's just a battery powering the whole thing. Okay, I love how you brought up charging, you know? How long does it take to fully charge a Tesla? So basically, fast charges aren't everywhere yet, but if you think about it, you know, they take around 20 minutes to charge up to 50%. Um, 75 minutes to charge up to 100%. Okay, so well, you know, you can do that in winter time, but I can just simply fill up my car and get 100% range in less than 7 minutes. So. Well, you don't get the bling of, you know, riding in Tesla. Like, simple. Is this man, like, did you just? Alright, man, come on. Like, you pop in a Tesla, you mean some business. Like, come on, yo, Tesla is Tesla, and yes, they got, like, nice looking cars and stuff. Like, it was pretty classy, you know? Is that why limousine companies use it? Like, as far as I can see, you know, I don't find no Tesla being driven down on purpose. Alright, well, for example, you think about it, right? Yeah, they got a futuristic look. You know, it's also, you could say, a classy touch, too. So it's not just all, you know, like, oh, no one's got it. Okay, but comparing it to the Escalade, you know, what would you rather buy? Uh, let's go with the Escalade. Alright, low-key. We're not gonna tell a video about this, alright? But low-key, Escalade, bro. Right. Escalade or GLS, something like that, you know? I hear you, man. Right, man. You know, in my eyes, Escalade needs to work so much on the car. Like, right now, I'm focusing more on the Model X. True, true, true. I mean, it's futuristic. It's got wing doors and a center. Right, right, but it really doesn't have a space in it. Most people buy a 3 row SUV in the mindset for space and, you know, just like, they want luxury and everything. And like the Tesla Model X, you know, it just doesn't have space. Right, I knew, mean, man. That's where I agree on you because I, they can do so much better with their design. Like interior and exactly. exterior. For example, if I'm gonna go ahead in the Tesla, right? I'm not gonna expect too much of a headroom because again, I got a cousin and everything. Too. And legroom, like if you're not a child, I don't feel like it's gonna be good for you. Like for example, these areas are where the Tesla and everything exceed expectations. They have so much, you can say, best in class type, you can say, you know, space and it's just you can fit seven full size adults tesla probably four probably six probably five not more than six right and you know what man you make the suv be more of an suv and not like you could say a bumblebee coupe now their design is cool for the exterior reminds me of the gle coupe but it's just not best friends with spaciousness however man heading back to the topic of efficiency man tesla is a way more environment friendly like no gas and no types of pollution. 
Exactly. You know, the world is full of pollution and it's got a bad effect one way or another. Like, so it's cool and all, but like, it seems to be the battery is back on the vehicle. You know, it's just like a backbone, like totally. I mean, it's definitely the reason why I think Tesla is a bright future. Exactly. Because, like you just mentioned, battery is a backbone of the whole uh -huh. car, you know? And it can be just fixed with an update. Exactly. You know, maybe, I don't know if you guys have been following up with the, you know, you could say, Apple oh, batteries, no, anything, no, but the whole no. thing is, like, Tesla is just on a battery. And anything wrong, you can replace the battery. So, basically, you can say the troubleshooting is very minimized. You know, it can be like, this is a radio. Right, right. It's a basic job. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know much about cars. A lot of fluids in the cars, but again, there's a lot of trouble with this model. It's got so many features, man. Like chill mode, summon mode, unlock features, case. It's got a new screen, bro. Right, bro. That's actually pretty insane. But, like, you could just bring your car forward by using your phone, like I've mentioned before. And it's got a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of a stuff. Lot. Like, that's fly, bro. But, like, low key, I cop for that. Oh, like, right, 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 man. But another thing the Teslas, they aren't that practical. 35k you get standard See, luxury. I hear you man, but it's not for everyone else. Like for example, you know, it's a good price. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a really nice price. But then what's not practical, man? Oh yeah, man, it's just I don't know, it's Tesla and it's repairs like for example, you're supposed to get rear engine, right? Let's just say you get rear engine. Okay, okay. And you know, you gotta wait months. You gotta wait literally months. Like there's been so many instances, even my family friends, you know, they've had instances where you have to wait months and he's you know tesla is supportive of everything you know like it's gonna help you obviously out the repair process awesome. but as far as i've heard it's just you know really hectic you know trying to keep up with all that stuff yeah man, i don't know what i would do without my personal car bro you can't call your dad's car your car man. wow you man really stupid all right wait you're me aren't you like come on why are you going off at each other bro well, that changed like absolutely nothing man like chill Security, bro. Okay. Security. So, on, uh -huh. you know what, man? Give her Tesla. You know these apps and everything. They're way better than regular cars. Like, for example, you know you got like cameras surrounding that Tesla car. It's like 360 degrees, and the whole All thing around. is you can find your Tesla like everywhere. everywhere like, right. There's an app for every type of thing in Tesla. That's great. And, like, it's just like you know it's got dog mode and everything. It's got everything. Uh, but who won, dog? Ty. What? Ty. Ty. We'll call her Ty, man. Come you on. know. They both have their ups and downs. To be honest, I wouldn't invest in one yet. You know, it's just not, you know, to its peak level. They can do better, right? There's so much better stuff that can happen. Yeah. It's definitely got a whole journey to travel so far. And it's just, you know, for now, I'd invest in the gas pump. Right, you know, they're still amazing. And personally, though, I'd still wait. You know, until then, make sure you subscribe to the channel and be updated with the latest future upgrades and everything. Just, bro, peace out. Yo, bye!